Well, I think that Rumble can be fine into the Renekton matchup. I, I very much believe in Finn's ability to play that 1v1. But kind of looking at BDS's comp, um, the, the thing that concerns me about the Gragas is that, like, yes, you have a lot of tools to kind of split Astralis up, and I guess that he can be annoying for a, a Yasuo to play into. But to try and push this wave underneath the tower, Astralis attack Adam in top lane. Adam has Flash. Doesn't really have anywhere else to go. Flashes up. 113 takes the tower perfectly. Astralis with first blood in the top lane. Shero's going to try and cut them off. You can see Nuke on his way across here as well. 113 still no Flash, remember, from the level one play. Nuke. Oh, but Nuke is now wasting. I mean, he's likely going to catch this wave himself. They have Flashes available. 113's out. Nuke flashes for it. Tangle Barb's not enough, and now Nuke will fall. It's all gone to pieces. Shale getting chased away. He still has a flash. We'll have to use it. Oh, wow. Action packed already. Leader down level six. Leader six. He's got knock up here. Nuke has no flash, remember. You go for it. Last breath. Under the tower. Nuke's just going to fall. Leader still has the flash to get away. Shale coming in. Trying to find something. He, some small semblance of victory for BDS. He can kill Shale. Yeah. And so can Finn. Oh, they, and oh, one they all die. Oh, oh Shao. Oh, Shao. That's not where you want to be. Zhang Hun here. Shao tries to get away. Knocked up, locked up, but 113 will secure it. It is an app. Our overlay will indicate it for you. Medic just hardlining it for you now on your screen. Crowny about halfway to level six, that little pink bar. Ultimate once again from Leader. Pop Blossom coming out from Nuke Lebrov and Shao are in the right position to collapse on this. Leader trying to dash away, uses Lebrov. Has a bit of an escape, but in the end, and above will be it. They're gonna lose place in the bottom lane. 113 here, once again to dive. Adam, equalizer comes out. Adam able to dodge away from it. 113 tanking the tower for now, and Finn secures it. Astralis just ripping through BDS right now. 113 and Shale will meet. 113 flash. And then he gets to safety. LeBron post back, locked up. The root's gonna come in as well, and even though he has the flash, the ignite is ticking. Feathers fly, LeBron dodges away. Now Crowny steps forward with the shurikens. Zhong Hun gonna be the first to fall. Kobe doesn't really have an escape anymore, but Crowny flashes into the root. Thought he was dodging. Find themselves with a potential great win over BDS, a team that, again, coming into the season, high expectations for after their performance in spring. Hexflash. Hexflash lands the hook. Static field going down as well, but LeBrov able to survive for such a long time. Stunned up. Look, the healing coming out from the cozy campfire. LeBrov walks out of it. Pop Blossom finds two. Leader locked up by Nuke. And he just can't kill off Emilio, it seems. 1 1 3 and Jong Hoon chased out by Crowny. Finn catching the mid wave in the end. It's a 1 for naught. In favor of the Emilio anymore. And at that point, it's the Sejuani that lives crank trying to work their way through that health bar. Isn't the easiest last breath will hook. It will hit, the hook will hit as well. And the lockdown onto Sheo means that Astralis get their seventh on the board. Finn trading with Adam here in the top lane. And Adam is not on the right side of that one. It's roast alligator for dinner. As Astralis find two on the map and the brief moments where it looked like BDS may have had an avenue back into the game are starting to fall apart. Jong Hoon looking for another hook. It lands. LeBron pulled back TP behind, but LeBron's not going to escape this time. Kobe takes him out. Nuke. Looking for that TP position, has the pop blossom or the Blitzcrank to make sure they have total vision. Denial, that hook still connects. A little bit of extra extension on that, it feels as Zhong Hoon finds the kill. Melio will fall, and now Finn is chasing Sheo in. Finn dodges away from the car. Sheo just trying to do what he can, but he's locked up once again. Another hook from Astralis. And Finn with the fancy feet wasn't knocked back. It's in. Astralis is looking to snowball this game out of control. Adam in a position to contest. Oh, Another connects. Another hook from Jung Hun. This guy just doesn't miss. He's the king of the fishes. He's landing all his hooks. I'm pretty sure we'll see Peter Pan trying to give his hand to an alligator in a second. His leader rips Nuke to pieces. Jung Hun. I'm just, know, like, <laughs> just saying. It's all about perspective, you know? About the spirit of the word, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, in the fist with Jesus and you can walk on walkers, new nice guys. Pick then yes, one, the fish could walk. Just the primary wave clip. There's the equalizer. Just to zone them away from the tower, make it easier to secure this objective, and that's exactly what it'll do. Adam forced back as well, the ghost prop. Nuke goes in, triple knockup. They look for Jong-Hoon, but he's got a stopwatch, and now Astralis turn the damage back around. 
They lock up Crowny. Adam trying to go into the back line. Mena dashing away, dancing away. The stun on Adam as he flashes to the safety of his Nexus Towers. But how safe will, be, will they be? And for how long will they survive? Cobby pushing forward. The third inhibitor will fall. 113 tanking up the Nexus Towers. And all of BDS can only watch as from their fountain they see their Nexus fall. Astralis didn't.